Hi, everybody. It's a Black Friday special. I had to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm breaking promises. And I'm not one to break promises, but I think tonight I've had so many other content creators here on YouTube calling out to me. I've had messages from Cole, messages from Buckeye Golden, obviously other people within the community just giving me my, you know, well wishes, Miss Vicky, Blind Views. I've been, you know, obviously in email contact with Lola Royal, who we know lost her channel due to our feisty friend, Sarasota Tim. And so I've kind of pulled myself out of retirement of making reactions to Tim, just as Dr. Ed Weir has to pull, re, pulled himself out of retirement in order to make reaction to misinformation put out about Social Security and probably in a direct reaction to our friend Tim. So anyway, with that said, I hear Tim has been up to some 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 pretty wild stuff lately. And uh, somebody who is training to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. I'm sure my pretty, sorry, my sparkle here for the festive season. Anyway, Tim is obviously getting really particularly um, kind of childish, um, a little bit malicious. The things that he, potentially he alone, and potentially Chris Google Maps, I thought was some young guy. Uh, he lived alone, had bought a house, and somehow was really into Tim's content. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I understood. So if anybody else has other information to clarify who this individual is, let me know. I also understand he has a strange obsession with uh, shows about little people and teen moms. So if anyone can clarify that for me, I would appreciate it. Anyway, I also understand that Tim has been doxing a creator by the name of Carl and, and trying to let people know where they live. Now, people have seen where I walk my dogs and the area is very recognizable. And they will say, are you here, this, that, and the other? And obviously, as a content creator, you do try to protect somewhat your whereabouts. So, you know, probably if people dug around enough, they could find out where I lived. It's, it's obviously, there's probably public information out there about that. So that I understand. But to go as far as to do that and to think that might be something that could potentially intimidate somebody, I think shows a particular sort of maliciousness of character, if you may. And that you have to wonder why somebody, when obviously one of the things that comes along, and even celebrities deal with this, when you become any type of, I guess, you know, because Tim loves to put out there that he is a YouTube celebrity, you know, and tells everybody around him, I'm a big, you know, YouTube influencer, blah, 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 blah. And yet he, does not think that that would come with any type of criticism and that only the things that he would hear are only this, you know, fawning, um, absolute, you know, adoration of, of Tim. And that's not the case because in, in a lot of ways, a lot of us are very educated. Carl was an attorney for an extended period of time. And if anybody understands how difficult it is to absorb that informa much information about the law. You, it, you know, he's obviously had something and been a successful and is still a successful person. Tim has nothing like that in his past. I myself am working on my own advanced studies and working towards being a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And this is what I play in my part tonight. And we're going to quickly pop into a Tim video and I'm going to get out of here because I want to enjoy my Black Friday too. I got Santa here for more support. And this is Santa and not a Father Christmas. This is definitely a Santa. And I've had this Santa since childhood. I had to pull Santa out tonight to give me some more support because Tim is so heinous in some ways, allegedly, just in my opinion, allegedly only. So without that said, and I know that people have said that they've used fair use and Tim still strikes at their channels. So 
you know, I'd be interested to see how, you know, what they would create for mine. Anyway, here we go. Obviously, this is just, you know, fair use. And I'm going to be reacting to Tim and I'm going to make his content transformative. And I'm going to give my opinion and my opinion only. And, you know, if I happen, this is entertainment. I don't treat a diagnose. We know that. We know I don't treat a diagnose ever. I just give my opinions about what I think. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it's laggy on this camera. I do apologize. I have <laughs> changed down to like Verizon 5G or something, and it's all wireless, and StreamYard hates it. So I'm just going to preface that, okay? <laughs> That's why I try to make more sit down videos. Okay. Santa here. Happy holiday season, everybody. Tim, honestly, you'll. Can I say dark triad, allegedly? And I'm doing a diagnosis, but there are certain characteristics and behaviors that make me think that Tim is somewhat in the dark triad. And we'll talk about why in a moment. I've got cited sources for that too. Two words that Tim doesn't understand cited and sources. Okay. We're going to pull Dr. Ed Weir out of retirement. Poor guy. Okay, let's get over to Tim's terrible channel, in my mind, allegedly. <laughs> so Tim says, a shout out to my community from Sarah Tim. And I'll try to put chapters for those who didn't want to hear my commentary. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, I, I, I feel that he's really played with people. And I know most people only watch about four minutes in. So I'll put chapters so you can get straight to the Tim stuff, okay? I just had to say my piece for a minute. All right, let's get to the reaction because that's why people are here. All right, like I said, if, if, I'm probably going to make myself small in order not to get so laggy, okay? So let me go small. There we go. Yeah, because I think I lagged last time. And I, anyway, let me not go. All right, so Tim's numbers are tanking, which is great. The only one he got was like a big Thanksgiving crushing it with 4,000. And then he's grilling a thing and whatever. He's out with his guy friends, back out. Oh, playing, you know, uh, Cowboy Tim, which, you know, the fact that he is somebody that feels so comfortable in having different personas is interesting. You know, that he, in some ways, is. You know, that is interesting because, you know, okay, so for example, if you're going somewhere on holiday, you may dress obviously accordingly to the weather or, you know, somewhat to the customs of the area in some way. Like you don't want to disrespect anything. Tim is like full on cosplaying a cowboy because Tim is not a cowboy. Tim has not ever been a cowboy. Tim has never owned a a thing of cattle he's never rode in a rodeo he has never herded anything <laughs> he's just this is cosplay and for some reason his audience enjoys it which is just wild and that's what he does and he doesn't like that we call him out for this but he's got a shout out to his community and a big thank you so i guess some people got conned into my, allegedly in my opinion sending him some coffee donations i have no idea i haven't watched this tripe in my opinion <laughs> all right if you haven't got hey how's it going everybody? Uh, hey tim i need to speed you up stop talking talk too fast be quick all right tim let me hold on hold on i gotta make you faster where's my speed i can't get speed where's the speed settings Oh, it's playback speed. Here we go. So you need to be at least a 1.25, maybe a 1.5. We'll see how slow this one is. Okay. A shout out to my community. A big thank you. Okay. I'm going to regret this. Everybody, Sarasota Teal, coming to you from Safeway. <laughs> I'm over here in Bullhead City, and I'm getting ready to go in and pick a couple of things up at the store uh, for uh, JJ and Bev and uh, go back over there. And then him and I, I think, are probably going to go shoot. Uh, this is the quality that we get. So one of the things they actually say, and I don't know if I'm giving any value at this moment in time either, but one of the things that they actually say that you should do as a creator is at least create some type of value for your audience. 
And so I have to try to wonder what is the value of seeing a man sat in a parking lot in front of a Dollar Tree with the tarpaulin or whatever the the going on over here and the and the construction site. I mean, he it it. it I feel that YouTube should really call this gentleman out because he, I think, misuses his subscriber base. It's one thing to have companies contact you and you agree to review their products and you set up an affiliate link and you then are honest that you receive money if they were to use those links to buy something. And if your audience actually needed that product and then they chose to actually use your particular link well that's their choice you know and if you happen to you know to make something that's no different than people you know doing any other type of sales in a, a way because you make commission through sale and so it's just a different way instead of having all the sales say go to a large media conglomerate the brands are now choosing to send product to people even people like me and asking us to review it, show it with our channel. You know, they give our audience who watch all discount codes and coupons. And, you know, it is, if you put that code in and, you know, you can follow the link to, then obviously we as creators get something in return. And and that's kind of how, kind of a lot of reasons, one of the, the, the ways that people do YouTube channels. And so I know Tim initially was doing that, but now he's just, I have not seen him have an actual like sort of product review or anything with an actual brand in a really long amount of time. And I just wonder with that many subscribers, are you not getting offers from companies? Like what happened? Did you put a bad taste in people's mouths and therefore they don't, you know, you just, what happened? Because I have brands reach out to me persistently. And this is probably one of the busiest times of the year for brands to have reached out to Tim. So instead of Tim grifting from his audience, he could have actually done some good and purchased, uh, you know, or gotten a, a product and reviewed it and then, you know, made his money through affiliate links. But he's got a whole different thing going on. And he he definitely, allegedly, I don't treat him diagnosed because I've never met him. I've never given him a full physical, advanced physical assessment. I'm obviously still in grad school. I've not graduated. I don't have very long left to go. Um, but I would not do that professionally anyway. It would not be ethical nor professional um, in, in a lot of ways to actually say this is the diagnosis without having an advanced physical assessment of the patient. I know you're going to all say things in the comment box about that. But uh, I see a lot of Tim and him persistently kind of hanging out in the dark triad. So let me let him keep playing because people want to see the reactions. Uh, today might be the day. It has been so windy. Let me try to bring you up. And also, I uh, want to get some shout outs. So we got this morning and we um, we did some more of the tank uh, dumping and adding water to the tank, you know, using the truck to carry the load. We're not going to pull it or anything. So it's just, you know, a couple hundred yards away. We did that. And then JJ actually moved his coach up there because – I'd have to hook up and put my salt and pepper away and my shampoo bottle and do all this, bring the slides in. I got two of them and bring the jacks up. It's just a lot of stuff. So all I needed to do was empty my shower water. And well, that's everybody knows that. I remember like friends of mine in England or family, like having caravans as we call them in the UK. And I remember having to do things like put the slides and even in boats, I think you have to do stuff like that. If I remember correctly. It's been a long time before I've had any type of overnight stay in a like a, a yacht or anything. And yes, I have actually, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, sink water and put some water in. And he's got a big six gallon uh, plastic container. I used to have one. I threw it away. I carried it around when I went to uh, Moab, Utah with my forerunner in the front seat to use for washing dishes. And you know, I was just uh, sleeping in the back of the forerunner. And I brought water to have, you know, a, to, to really rough it. And I never ever used it and all i did was hear it slosh around for it didn't it didn't spell out or anything but a lot of weight 
and uh, just carried it around the country twice. You know, Tim, people are going to ask if it was next to the urinal. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Well, moving on. So whatever. I, either, either I sold it at, a, at a, um, a yard sale when I got rid of some things in um, uh, Jacksonville, which I probably did, or, or I threw it away. I don't think I would just throw it away. But Keep me interested. he said they're like $20 for those jugs. Well, I need to add one. Now that I've got all this room in the back of my truck, gas cans, water cans, so that I can, you know, bring um, water and what I need when I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, the seats are empty currently. But as we know with Tim, they are going to fill up real fast. <laughs> Those seats are going to be filled to the brim. It's going to be filled with his multiple personas, allegedly. He's a hoarder in some ways. He really loves to buy things. He's 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 into quick gratification. He doesn't seem to have any sort of, you know, he talks about long-term goals, but they're really fleeting. If you watch his last series that I was covering, we have gone, obviously, and, you know, it, it obviously can create interest for his subscribers, but the... I don't know if he and Tammy are just living in an apartment together. Uh, there's something going on where I do not believe he's, I don't get the sense he's residing in the Flagstaff in Florida. Um, I don't believe that so. I think he was using that as a base to film and that he and Tammy were actually living elsewhere and she just wanted him to make it seem like they were no longer together. Um, but they can't keep that quiet. So <laughs> Tim can't keep it quiet. And I think in some ways Tammy can't keep it quiet, you know? But uh, yeah, okay, keep going, Tim. Doing now. And believe me, this is not work. This is fun. This is what I like to do. And I wouldn't, I mean, all right, let's say I had my druthers and it wasn't seasoned. They, they raised the rates November 1 at the Riverside. So everything got more expensive than, of course, Thanksgiving. Next week would be less than it is this week because the holiday will be over, but they're in there. Oh, gosh, really? Already? Lord of my life. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, I had to actually emphasize that twice. <laughs> that's the difference if somebody like myself i'm gonna say i've got an affiliate link i make it i make a commission if you buy something i'm not saying it's gonna you know i did the buy me a coffee because i was obviously joking on him anyway gosh oh, it's interesting okay keep going <laughs> His content he talks about. <laughs> oh no. The non-tent is out in force. Uh season prices. But let me tell you, the sewer there is higher than the hose. I complained about that when I was there last time. I don't get it. Almost all the hookups. Jay said the same thing. That you know, you go to dump and, and it has to go uphill. Anyway, we're where we're at. We're <laughs> at. Um, so I definitely want to shout out. Uh, a few more people have sponsored uh, the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee. Um, and I want to say thank you very much. No See, that's not a sponsorship. Okay. That's more like a Patreon type situation where they are making like a donation to your Buy Me a Coffee page because you made creator content. That's not a sponsorship. A sponsorship is an actual company that pays for you to talk about their product within your actual videos that's a sponsorship i don't even have sponsorships quite yet i am at a place where companies send me products and in exchange i review the products and they're happy for me to give my honest opinion and they that's and they also give me affiliate links i did not get affiliate links for the recliner but currently, all the other products that I am showing, I do have an affiliate link and I do make a commission. It's very different. And I've had people send me money through my buy me a coffee and I appreciate that. But now I'm in a place where I'm, uh, you know, 
that was me kind of goading at Tim. So it's not something I'm really promoting on my channel. <laughs> that, that was a period of time in order to sort of highlight one of Tim's big things. These people aren't sponsors, Tim. These are people that you, gullible individuals, in my opinion, that you have found in order to contribute to your buy me a coffee. Reason to shout out the names. There's been a few, and I thank them personally on the buy me a coffee. But I want to acknowledge them to the community that, you know, I want to shout out to them. That's very, very kind of them to do. Um, some are a little bit more than others. You know, here, here's a coffee. Go get a coffee on me. Go to Human Bean. Go to McDonald's. Whatever. And now, do these folks, these sponsors, have like a $10 limit on sponsorship? I mean, like, because we know that you, if it was like over a certain amount at the drive through and we're not talking, it has to be very much. It could be $12. I think that was the limit. I know $16 is, is too much. $16 and 63 cents, I believe it was. But how much? Anyway, let me keep going. I'm taking too long. So they can send all the money they need to send you, Tim. But when it comes to you and you getting, you know, them something else than your, you know, the McDonald's line, because that's where charity needs to happen. You are not doing it. Okay. Very interesting. It's, 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 oh yeah. Keep going, Tim. And that's great. That's fine. There's the amount doesn't mean anything, but oh, some were very generous. And then I want to give a special shout out to someone who doesn't comment much, but watches all my videos is a uh, genre master. Genre master is this really cool guy that stopped by and knocked on the door at the uh, Riverside when I was here a few months ago. See, that's a very strange relationship that should not happen. And I don't know if YouTube has the terms of service that says about this. I, I think there is something that they, you know, do not try. You know, one thing is a meet and greet that is publicly opened up for creators to meet their fans, if you may. But the kind of nefarious way you go about getting to, to know these fans of yours i don't know it's it, it it's a little bit you know and you go off and play golf with people it's, it's just strange it's a little weird tim in my opinion allegedly <laughs> strange it's 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 not something that should in you know kind of it's a misuse of your position of being somebody with more influence over people who are not in your space one thing is if you are friends with another content creator and another is, you know, having people from the public give you gifts the way they do. It's, it, it's, it's a little odd. And so I watch your channel and he lives in Kingman, you know, about an hour from here, uh, you know, where Kingman, Arizona is. And he, um, he drives this really cool car to Mercedes. And um, he said, watch your videos. He goes, come on, let's go. I want to buy you a cup of coffee. So we went over to the McDonald's over here in uh, Bullhead City oh, one morning and got me a coffee. I made a video about it, I think, and an, an egg McMuffin. And um, he likes he likes the crushing it for Christ videos too. He's a Christian guy, uh, really really good guy. And uh, oh yeah, it's because you're so Christian, Tim. I mean, I mean, you're just living by the Ten Commandments on a daily basis. I, I, I'll he's just you know. Just like the they channel came by. Know. Well, none other than Genre Master showed up about an hour ago and came by and wanted to say hello to me. And uh, he gave me a little support uh, and and was just telling me that he's really watching the channel. He really. What do you mean by a little support? That's very interesting use of words. Hmm. Continue with this story. Wanted to congratulate me on the truck and that he said, oh, yeah, and on your car, too. I'm like, oh yeah, forgot I got that car. <laughs> and so he watches every video and, you know. Somebody that just buys so many assets that are not assets, but liabilities, but he believes in his mind or assets is astounding. It shows potentially a lack of judgment. Just saying, see, you know, God is good. And, you know, he's taking care of you. You're doing the right thing. And I just really appreciate, that's what I wanted to say in this video the support and encouragement that I get from my community about
keep in doing what I'm doing, keep saying what I'm saying. And, you know, what are you saying? Exactly. <laughs> the information you give is misinformation. It's absolutely incorrect because you have no background or expertise to talk about any of these topics that you talk about. Unless you want to talk about how to basically shirk work for 30 years or your entire life because you literally admitted, even though you were 10 years off because your math is absolutely atrocious, that pretty much by the time you were 33 years old or however young it was, young, and I will use that word liberally there because I am 55, so 30 some years, 33 years or something seemed young, that you were kicking back and doing basically nothing. So, I, I, Kim, seriously. It's all good. I think people maybe sometimes are worried that uh, some negativities, things that go on out there on other um, social media, that that affects me, which it doesn't. Because actually, when they talk about it, I'm like, you want to talk about your your audience sending again mass amounts of emails to my email account, which I have, and it's not very difficult to get rid of the emails. So, I mean, what's next? What, what's your next thing that you're going to try to do? You doxing Carl to try to intimidate him. You've also tried to get, you've got rid of people's channels as an intimidation tactic. So you obviously don't like people highlighting you. So it's either through your ego that this potentially could be driven. Remember, I don't treat a diagnose, but driven through your ego. And therefore you don't like any type of negativity. And that's potentially why you have a strained relationship with your family and why you're not with them over the holiday period, because you you are so ego driven. Or it's because people are calling your alleged cons and scams out to the public, that including the PPE loans, the IDL loans. How you just talked about people sending you huge amounts of money to buy you a cough, buy me a coffee, but you don't create quality content, Tim. You really don't. You have no expertise. You can't even calculate your own age differences. So I, what you? It's a facade, an absolute facade. And there's a certain amount of it that does live in what's known as the dark triad. And I don't dark, treat a diagnose. But these are things that are driven by people who have a great deal of Machiavellianism. These are people who are driven by their narcissistic behaviors. These are people who are driven also by their impulsivity. And I think we can see some of these characteristics in you, Tim. I think that's very possible to see. You know? People with the Machiavellianism try to be cunning and manipulative. And I think you try to do that with the audience, in my opinion, not treating or diagnosing. All right, Tim, I'm already talking for too long. <laughs> Let's keep, you're going to ruin my algorithm. Let's go till the end. But I'm going to obviously make it transformative. Like, oh, really? I didn't know. I mean, uh, I know they're out there, but I don't watch them. So Just I really am too. ignorant, blissfully ignorant. But some people do uh, watch those. No, you're not. Because you've asked your channels to mass strike other creators, which is actually against YouTube's terms of service. And you have done that quite clearly. So, and there's a lot of things that you say and do that indicate quite clearly that you're watching people. So you wouldn't be doxing people. And you wouldn't be striking channels down. You would just go about your business and not care. But you do care. And it's apparent. I know a lot of people in my that community my have seen things like that by accident because they use Sarasota Tim in the title, which is the only way they get a view um, to um, look at their stuff. But he he was just trying to tell me. That not true. Actually, I did one about this poor girl who died while doing a mukbang. And I've had far more views on that. I had three times as many views on what I did on uh, Gooder and Lasers and her attempting to run. So no, Tim, you're not the reason why I get views to my channel. You're one of many creators I have made commentary on. Thank you. Yeah, 
to stay and encouraged no, and all that. I'm like, don't worry, man. Everything's good. I mean, I'm so pumped. Uh, it, it's just, it's really good. But it's great that I'm back out here. And once again, I've had, when I was here last time with the cramper and the crasher, that I had so many people that I got acquainted with. All right. I have to speed him up. He's still too slow. <laughs> I need to speed this video. Tim, I'm, now I'm at 1.5. Just to, we kind of get going, mate. It just rolled up on me that I met, you know, that were in the area or not, not even in the area that came. Uh, there were some from Vegas that came, Kingman, uh, down in the area here. I mean, there's just people showed up, uh, people that were. Tim loves it. Loves the adulation, loves the thought that all these people are coming around. But it's not an officially like created event where it's like meet the creator at a coffee bar or something. But, you know, legitimately advertised that so you're kind of keeping that boundary between you and your audience, Tim. You have meshed YouTube and your audience. And that is not something that I think is healthy, in my opinion. And that is my opinion. We're coming to Laughlin, ironically, to, to stay and to gamble and, and came by. A guy and his wife are from San Diego. Uh, they sent me some emails telling me they were coming and just wanted to come by and shake my hand. And, you know, you know how cool that is? I mean, to me and the people that know me, family and friends, they've known me all my life. They're like, it's just like it was with, with Jesus, you know, and I'm, I'm not, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not comparing myself to Jesus, but I'm giving you an analogy. He was esteemed by people when he taught with all his wisdom and people followed him. And then the other people were like, Isn't no, but Tim, you don't seem to understand when you pick the analogy to be Jesus, you are trying to compare yourself to Jesus. And somehow you think you kind of are potentially that, that's very interesting. It was a very interesting choice because you keep trying to throw out this Christ and Christianity. <sighs> Continue. Just keep, keep using the religious manipulation. Classic. Classic. You know, if you want to get a good audience, you know, just tell everybody you're a Christian. Why not? It works every time. Isn't this a carpenter guy? Isn't this Joseph and Mary's son that we've known for 35 years here? Why are people acting like he's... So people, you know, they watch the videos. They hear some of the things we talk about. They like the positivity, the enthusiasm, some of the things that we reviewed and places we've gone and about the RV stuff and cars and trucks and, and the, the uh, forerunner and trips out to Utah. And they're, they're just, you know, want to meet you and say, hi, people have invited me in Virginia, uh, Georgia and all around Tennessee, my good friend in Tennessee, TRD, you know, he wanted me to come back by again. I stopped by once. I mean, it's just such love. And I, I just want to shout out to you and them, all of you that in your comments, whether you've invited me to stay at your house or you bought me a coffee or you came by and sell, saw me, it doesn't matter. Right. All of it. I mean, the ones that like angel mission, Chris Google. Self-explanatory. Tim is using his channel. Not only he's really, I mean, not only is he getting AdSense money from these people, he's getting all these people that stay at houses and getting meals, this, that, and the other. I mean, really getting comped, comped by people. I mean, this is just something that I've to a level that I've never you know most people who are most creators do not do this this is very unusual behavior I obviously have you know nice chats with people in my audience I would never agree to meet with somebody because that's a crossing a line because there's a power imbalance that Tim knows he has and that's what's not correct in this situation. I have to put this one out. Flim flam now a trick or deception, especially a swindle or confidence game involving skillful persuasion or clever manipulation of the victim. A piece of nonsense, twaddle, bosh. Yeah, that's just everything. Just he's the flim flam man. <laughs> Just, and he's, you know, he's got to thank everybody and he's trying to scare everybody away so he can continue to, you know, milk everybody for what they're worth. Maps. And all the rest, Miss Cindy and Sherry and all the ones I'm, I normally leave people out that comment regularly. Bubba, of course, you know, we, you must be new here. We're copying his stuff. People like to use my sayings. We've got a great community and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody. And I was talking to JJ last night and I got another guy that's a subscriber that contacted me personally on my email and he wants to go over some things with me about. Your subscribers are mean, kind of like you are, Tim. Not a very nice community. Kind of vindictive, actually. 
your your sort of your your narcissism is a is a huge part of what you do, Tim. It really is. And uh, you know, you just uh, grandiose. You're pretty self centered, Tim. You know, um, you've really got an exaggerated sense of entitlement in the sense that you feel that your audience should be doing all these things for you. I just think that's not right. You know, I, I just think there's, you know, yeah, you're crossing some very dubious lines of these things. And this is where we're, as a community, are able to say things. You can keep saying all this stuff about how awesome your community is, but how you're having this power imbalance relationship is something I think is, is it's very problematic. In my opinion about how to grow the channel everybody knows i want to get to the hundred thousand uh to get the play button from youtube it's just a uh you know a bragging right a a a bucket list uh an achievement you know a goal it's a plaque you get from youtube for a hundred thousand subscribers and he wanted to go over some things interesting i just mentioned about the narcissism and off him goes just <laughs> i'm not treating or dying basing i'm just saying things that cross my mind so i gotta call him on what he, and, I'm, and I'm up for listening. Opinion. And then JJ and I were talking last night. He's talking about, and I'm just kind of letting you guys know that I get it. Okay. I know a lot of my videos are repetitive and a lot of the same. And that's why I'm sitting here saying thank you so much for sticking with me because it is a lot of the same, but you continually watch me and support me. And, uh, you know, you just like to hang out. And I'm, I'm very honored. No, you know that if you pump out 10 videos a day and they get at least 2,000 views or plus on each video. And you can live with that. You can live with 891 views on the Crushing It for Christ. That you will gain your AdSense. And potentially someone's going to use some more buy me a coffee, potentially. That probably actually gains you more money than the AdSense. But I don't know what you put yourself under. There is a way for me to find out. But it would require me with having more time and, and a little more patience on the computer but so i, I also i don't want to chase ideas that i'm not i like for them to fall in place just like everything already has oh, god will provide it. but it's i am going to be looking for new things uh whether we were talking last night jj was like well maybe you know you could do rv reviews you know a lot about them you know you can study up on one a lot of people do that <laughs> folks you're welcome to make suggestions too and a lot of you already have uh in, in in times past but you know hopefully the good lord will just develop and grow the channel to where we'll get to the one hundred thousand and we will um, we'll get more people in the community. There are so many YouTubers out there that have, you know, hundreds of thousands, a million subscribers, and yet 60, 80, 500,000. Well, yeah, because their content delivers value, Tim. See, when you're pumping out 10 videos a day to your subscribers and it's quantity over quality, what do you, you're going to turn your a lot of your audience off. So only your really diehard fans are going to stick around for that. So you're going to need to try to change your formula. It's not about you just showing up and pointing a camera. I don't know what value I'm giving this evening other than the fact that I'm talking about, you know, your levels of, you know, immense need to have impulsivity and just drive yourself out to Laughlin and just, you know, you have no lack of empathy in some ways. We saw the shin gate with Miss Tammy. I gotta go. It's getting too long. Views it's a views for two each target. video they do, and I'm nowhere near that category. I'm just a, a, you know, a guy, and yet some people, you know, want to find fault with that. I don't know why, but they can do them. Whatever. Maybe in some way, some crazy way, it even contributes to the subscription and the popularity of the channel. No. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just a shout out to uh, John Remaster for coming by. He doesn't he doesn't comment often, um, and uh, and all of you out there that see. Tim would have monetized this video, of course, Sh giving a shout out to his subscribers. Thank you, guys, everybody who watches mine. They've made some uh, recent uh, contributions. John Remaster wanted to sponsor a round of golf for me and uh, California Steve. And, uh, you know, we weren't able to get to Vegas because. Uh, sponsor golf round means basically pay for Tim's golf. S his sponsorship is just basically a code word, in my opinion, for Tim and, and him just saying, they're buying me stuff. Of um, uh, California Steve is not able to to make it because of vacation days that he wasn't aware. He thought he had somebody he didn't. So he might come on the weekend and play golf with us. And JV already said that he would stay and stick around if maybe um, um, 
California Steve can come. And Timmy Appleseed is, is going to return. And he, he plays golf, but he's got a bad back, and he may not play. JJ's not even going to play, uh, but he was going to video for us. Okay. He may not even go out now. He's got his wife there. They, they're finding things to do. We grill out at night. They like to um, have the entertainment with the casino. Everybody's doing what they want to do. But coming out here and meeting my new uh, family of friends uh, that I've, made, I've met through YouTube, has been great. And that was a godsend too, uh, to have me come back sooner than later. I didn't know I'd be coming back this soon. I got the new truck. I wanted to pull it. $100,000 in vehicles since it's returned back to Florida. <laughs> That's what Tim acquired. Now he's returning back. He's just letting it all go. It's like, two kids. What better reason? I don't know whether I would have uh, with the Tundra or not, or come back this soon. Nobody's promised tomorrow. Johnny Vegas has got the heart issue. Um, things could happen to me. Things could happen to you. Things could happen to anybody. Well, I can let you know there are certain things that are more risk factors for heart disease. And so, uh, you know, obviously limiting those risk factors will potentially help you out unless you have a hereditary congenital heart condition which generally older people getting, you know, heart failure at Johnny's age, probably more, you know, some risk factors that went to that, in my opinion, and having not ever given him a physical assessment, but having worked in healthcare for a long time. <laughs> and so that's why we talk about, you know, yesterday is uh, gone. It, it's a canceled check. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. It's a promissory note. The day is the day to live your life. Nobody's promised tomorrow. Whether it's doing something or nothing, make sure you're, and people always want to say, oh, you always say you're a nurse and stuff. It's because I have expertise, okay? Dr. Edward goes on there and tells everybody about the millions of people that he has served by being at the Social Security Administration. Do you think anybody is telling everybody, oh, you, oh Dr. Ed, you tell everyone you work for Social Security? I talk about things to, related to health, okay? So obviously my expertise in health, i.e. working with patients and sick people and so forth for, you know, nigh on close to... Oh my goodness, probably first time my 2011, I want to say. So it's it's 13 years at least on direct patient care. And 15 at least studying medicine. You're living your life on your terms. And if you're still working at a prison job, you can still make it a good day. Uh, and don't ever forget to honor the Lord and thank him for what you've got. And I'm very grateful to my community once again. I just have to keep saying it. That I wouldn't be out here. Uh, probably even doing this, even though a lot of people do, that aren't YouTubers. They just enjoy their RV life. But the fact that I can vlog it, get the comments, get some views, making a little bit of money at it too as a side hustle, which God has blessed me to have to support my social security to supplement, I should say, rather than having to pass out crackers at Publix or whatever else I might've done. I wouldn't, I'm not afraid to do anything. Well, that's why people initially liked you was because you were handing out crackers at Publix. You kind of seemed like you were maybe uh a guy who didn't have his retirement figured out and he was trying to figure it out on the fly and so people related to you at the time and now you just have kind of realized that you know your views tanked but you have this loyal audience and you've been able to melt it pretty well for what they're worth so good job tim keep going but here i'm able to be mobile and opinion. move around and meet people and i just love it i'm an extrovert i like it it's God, great. Yeah, You're great. You the world is great. God is great. Crush it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not crush it anymore with Tim. All right. This video got really long. So I'm just going to end it here. All right, guys. Happy holiday season. Check my links down below in the subscription. All right, guys. Check you later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we're going to end this.